ディズニー・トイ・ストーリー2。ディズニー・トイ・ストーリー2。The evil Emperor Zog appeared on the TV screen and shot Buzz Lightyear down. Oh no, Rex mourned. He had lost his favorite Buzz Lightyear video game again. The other toys tried to cheer him up, all except Woody. He was too busy. Getting ready to go to cowboy camp with Andy. But at the last moment, disaster struck. Woody's arm ripped while he and Andy were playing with the bus. There was no time to repair Woody. So Andy had to leave without him. Andy's mom. Put Woody on the mending shelf. There, Woody met Wheezy, the squeaky penguin, one of Andy's old toys. Just then, Andy's mom reached up and took Wheezy from the shelf. She wanted to put him in the yard sale in the garden. Goodbye, Woody, said Wheezy as he disappeared downstairs. I'm going to rescue Wheezy, Woody announced, and he whistled for Buster, Andy's puppy. The two of them ran outside and grabbed Wheezy. But as they headed back for the house, Woody's arm tore again and he tumbled to the ground. A greedy toy collector named Al was at the yard sale. And when he saw Woody, he picked him up and ran to his car. The other toys watched in horror from the window as Al drove off with Woody. Al took Woody to his apartment and locked him in. Woody looked around. For a way to escape, but instead he found a floppy little horse called Bullseye and a friendly cowgirl called Jessie. Let's show him who he really is, said an old prospector doll in a box. Jessie turned on the TV. Woody was amazed as he watched Woody's round up, staring Jessie. The yodeling cowboy, cowgirl, Stinky Pete, the prospect doll, Barza, the horse, and Sheriff Woody. Woody couldn't believe it. He had once been a television star, and now he was the last piece in a valuable toy collection. Al、uh, is selling us, all, selling us all to a museum in Japan, explained. The old prospector. Meanwhile, back at Andy's house, the clever toys had worked out that Al was the owner of the local toy store. That night, the toys set out to rescue their friend. Out on the rooftop, Slinky Dog held on with his paws as one by one. Rex, Ham, Mr. Potato Head, and Buzz used his coils to bungee jump to the ground. To Al's toy barn and beyond, Buzz shouted bravely. Then he headed away down the street. The five friends walked on through the night. As the sun rose, they came to a busy main road and spotted. Al's toy bar. We have to get across, Bath shouted. The toys each picked up a traffic cone and dashed into the busy road. Drop, Bath yelled, and 
hid beneath his calm. A truck swerved to miss them, spilling its load of concrete pipes. Go, cried Beth. Mr. Potato Head struggled to free his shoe from a piece of bubble gum. He got away seconds before one of the pipes thundered past him. Ignoring the honking horns and the screeching brake behind them, the toys made it safely inside the toy barn. Good job, troops, said the bus. Let's split up to look around. Not far away. Woody's arm had been repaired. He looked brand new. I'm all ready to go home to Andy now, said Woody. I belonged to a little girl once, said Jess Jessie sadly. She played with me every day until she grew up. Then she gave me away. Even the greatest kids ought to grow their toys. Listen, Woody, if you stay with us, you'll be remembered forever. Maybe you are right, Woody said quietly. I think I'd stay after all. Inside the toy barn, Buzz looked up at an amazing display of new Buzz Lightyear toys. Each one was wearing a super utility pack. I could use that, thought Buzz. Wap, his hand was clenched by a new Buzz Space Ranger. And before long, Andy's toy was overpowered and imprisoned inside a box on the shelf. The new Buzz thought Andy's toys were on a mission to defeat the evil Emperor Zog, so he joined Rex and the others, who were touring the store in a toy sports car. They stopped outside Al's office. He was on the phone. The toys realized Al was about to take Woody to the airport. They all hid in Al's briefcase as he left the toy barn for his apartment. At that very moment, the real Buzz broke free and raced after Al. But Buzz was being followed by the evil Emperor Zog. Once inside Al's apartment, the new Buzz rushed up to Barzai. We are here, Woody, he yelled. And his toys looked at the new Buzz suspiciously. Then Andy's real buzz appeared. The toys were confused. There's no time to explain, Andy's buzz said to everyone. Come on, Woody, let's go. But to his amazement, Woody refused. Yeah, Woody said sadly. When I'm worn out, Andy will just throw me away. He turned around and switched on the TV. Woody watched a small smiling boy on the TV screen. It made him realize just how much he missed Andy. Hey, Buzz, wait, he shouted. But Stinky Pete blocked the way. Buzz turned to help his friend, but just then Al came into the room. He scooped his valuable toys into a suitcase and took them to the airport. We have to get Woody, Buzz shouted. But as they headed for the lift, they heard an evil laugh. It's Zog, gasped, gasped Rex. Bravery, Buzz and the new Buzz fought off the attack. Rex closed his eyes and in panic. Then Thwack, his tail, knocked Zog off the roof. I won, I defeated Zog, Rex shouted excitedly. And the stories said goodbye to the new bus and raced through the hall after Woody.
Luckily, Mr. Potato Head spotted a pizza truck nearby and the toys jumped in. And so, with Buzz at the steering wheel, Slinky on the pedals, Rex as navigator, and Ham and Mr. Potato Head working the levers, they zigzagged their way to the airport. There, the toys ran inside desperately, looking for a. They found him. He was still at the check-in desk, as Al's suitcase thumped onto the conveyor belt. The toys jumped on beside it. Thousands of boxes, bags, and suitcases swept past them. But Buzz kept his eyes on Al's green suitcase. Woody, are you in there? He called, and he opened the catch. Pow! The prospector came out fighting. Buzz fought, fought back and quickly packed him in a backpack. Woody and Buzz had managed to get out of the suitcase, but Jesse was still trapped inside. I'm not letting Jessie down, Woody thought. She deserves another chance to play with a kid who loves her. Woody, Buzz, and Balazai galloped after Jessie towards the plane. Woody dived into a golf bag as it was loaded on the plane. Then he searched the bags until he found Jessie. Oh, Woody, I knew you'd come, she cried. We are not out of here yet, said Woody grimly, and we haven't much time left. They felt the plane begin to move towards the one way. Woody tried to help Jessie down, but his weak arm gave way. Help, she cried, he, she cried as she fell towards the wheel. Thinking quickly, Woody used his string as a lasso and pulled Jesse up safely. At the same moment, Buzzeye and Buzz galloped towards them. Jump! Woody, jump! called Buzz. So, holding Jesse tightly, Woody dropped onto Buzzeye's back. Later that day, Andy and his mom arrived back. Andy was delighted to be home, and he was even more pleased to see Barza and Jesse with the other toys on his bed. He started to play with them at once. The toys all smiled. They were safe at last, back in Andy's room.